Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and Happy New Year. My name is Alexander from Fade Today You, and in today's video, we're gonna be once again taking a look at some of these incredible shirts behind me that are dropping this weekend, the 12th of January. Now this is our first video for 2020 and also our first drop of the year, and we are so, so excited to get this out to you guys. You know, I said in the last video, we had some amazing shirts, and if you guys have stayed tuned to our Instagram, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Some of the shirts dropping this weekend are absolutely amazing, and I know you guys are really excited. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. We got some crazy rap tees, some band tees, some TV tees, which we haven't had in a while. So so I think you guys are really, really gonna like this drop. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it. All right, so to kick things off, we have my favorite shirt of the drop and it's this 1990s Tupac rap tee. Now, you guys will know for the last few years, rap tees have been crazy in demand. And that's just because we see a lot of celebrities wearing them, the designs on them are crazy and they really go with any fit. And I absolutely love this shirt. It's really, really sick. You got an amazing front graphic here with obviously the Machiavelli and Tupac hit across the bottom with some nice photos of him. And then the back on this thing is just absolutely wild. Obviously, Thug Life with all the images of Tupac and just all in all a really, really sick shirt. Now, with the rap tees, they are, majority of them are like those bootleg kind of parking lot style. And I think that's why they're so sought after, just because there's no real limitations to the designs they could have put on them. And they just really went crazy. You can see like, we got like 10 photos of Tupac just on the back of this shirt alone with some really, really nice colors and just all in all the graphics work really, really well. Now, this one is a size extra large. It's got an amazing fit, really, really nice drape. And when you wear it, it looks absolutely incredible. It's all single stitch, really, really soft, got a very nice subtle fade to it, which makes the colors just pop even more. And just all in all, a really sick shirt. And I definitely think come Sunday, this will be the first to go. All right, so next up, we have another two-pack wrap tee. And this one's kind of the contrast of the last one. The last one was really loud with the colors. A lot of graphics was really, really out there. Whereas this one's really, really simple. Yeah, it's really, really nice. So obviously got the two-pack kit of across the front with that Machiavelli gradient text down the bottom. And then if we flip it over to the back, this thing has one of my favorite backs I've seen in a long time. Once again, very, very simple, but just an amazing, amazing back. Black and white, subtle hit of color. It just, it makes it pop so much more and it's really, really nice. Now, the shirt itself is super soft, has a really nice fade to it. It's kind of like a size extra large and large. So if you're either size, you'll get away with it. But just all in all, a really, really nice wrap tee and one that you don't see many. Like I said, with the last one, really, really loud, really colorful, but this is really simple, but still really, really sick. So definitely a really nice one come Saturday. All right, guys, so next up, we have this 1994 Pantera Far Beyond Driven Tour shirt. Now, this thing is absolutely amazing. Really subtle hit on the front with a big weed leaf and then the Pantera text. Really nice colors. But then if you flip it over to the back, we've got this crazy 1994 World Tour with the globe. Once again, a really, really sick graphic. Now, the shirt is tagged as a size extra large. However, I do kind of think it fits more like a boxy large just because it does have that traditional extra large width, but it is kind of short and it does have those kind of longer sleeves. So I definitely think it's a much boxier fit. If you are a size large, this should fit you perfect. But as always, check the measurements. But just all in all, really sick shirt. Colors are really vibrant and just definitely a collector's piece for any fan. All right, guys. So next up, we have this 1991 Metallica Sad But True shirt. And this thing is just amazing. Really, really nice graphic on it. Got the nice pass head hit on the front. You know, all the work he does is absolutely amazing, but really nice front hit. And then we've got the I'm Inside You Sad But True across the back. Now, it's also printed on the Australian made Acme tag, size X extra large, so you know the quality of this thing is gonna be absolutely amazing. Single stitch, really soft, great fit, and just all in all a great shirt. All right guys, so next up we have another Metallica tee, this time from 1994, and I'd say it's probably one of the most recognizable Metallica shirts as of recently. I've seen a lot of department stores like Zara and H&M do reprints of this thing, but you can understand why. Really, really nice graphic across the front with this flaming scale and the Metallica hit, and then very similar across the back, we have the sun and the Metallica hit. Really nice colors on this thing, it's really, really soft, it's got a very, very subtle fade, which makes the colors once again stand out really nicely and just all in all a great shirt. Now, I do think it was printed on a giant tag, which has since been removed, but just all in all, really, really sick shirt. It does have a tiny hole here, which isn't really recognizable, but yeah, like I said, really nice graphic, really nice blank, faded perfectly. And I definitely think it's a shirt that any Metallica fan should have in the collection. All right, guys, so next up, we have another band tee. This time it's from Kiss's 1996 and 1997, a live slash worldwide tour, but this shirt's absolutely amazing. We've got a really nice kind of black and white graphic, and we've got this red hit across the front and then also red on the lips, which I absolutely love. And then if you flip it over to the back, you guys know me, I absolutely love big text hits. We got, I wanted the best, I got the best with that kind of red and black gradient and the white border, which looks absolutely amazing. But 
Amazing back, amazing front, really nice fit to it. It's tagged a size large, but I definitely think the measurements of this could fit you if you were an extra large, so you could fit either way, but just all in all, really nice shirt. Very, very soft, got a nice fade to it. And I definitely think come Sunday, whoever gets this is gonna be absolutely stoked because really, really nice shirt. Next up, we have this 1990 Aerosmith Pump Tour shirt from the Australian and Japan League of the Tour. And this thing's absolutely amazing. For a shirt that's now 30 years old, the condition is, I would say, top 10 shirts I've ever received. It's been literally worn to perfection. It's super soft. It hasn't shrunk at all, which is really rare in these old shirts. It's printed on the old Australian Acme tag. Now, this is the OG Acme tag. I'm not sure if a lot of you guys have seen this, but this is from like the 80s and 90s. But just a really, really crazy front graphic. Single stitch, really soft, nice fade. And then if you flip it over to the back, we've probably got one of my favorite backs I've seen in a long time. This thing's just wild. Obviously got the Japan and Australia dates there, but then we got this nice pump explosion that just looks so, so sick. Yeah, just... The condition of this thing, it's probably hard to pick up from video, but whoever does end up buying this shirt, you'll know exactly what I mean. It's literally been worn to perfection. If I could choose every one of my shirts to fit and feel like this one, hands down I would, because for a shirt that's 30 years old, it's literally perfect. All right, so next up, we have this 1995 absolutely fabulous 100% Sweetie shirt. Now, we did actually post this on our Instagram, I'd say probably two or three months ago, and a ton of you guys reached out wanting to purchase it, but at the time, it wasn't actually available for sale, and the reason that was was because this was actually for my girlfriend. She's a huge Ab Fab fan, so I bought this for her, but unfortunately, it didn't fit, so it's now come to the store. So if anyone has a medium or large, please hit me up. I'll definitely buy it, but yeah, this shirt's just absolutely amazing. The graphic on this thing's really nice. The colors are really, really nice. There's not many, but it just absolutely pops. Obviously, patchy on the front, having a smoke and vodka but it's a really really sick shirt really nice fun graphic then if we turn over to the back we have the simple paris new york and holland part here now it is also printed on the old american made i believe yeah american made changes tag size extra large fits as such very very soft single stitch very subtle fade to it amazing condition the only real flaw is just like this kind of i'm not sure if it's a paint stain or whatever it is but it's this tiny little not even half a centimeter little dot has fade it's not too noticeable but you'll see on the website when um, the photos are live but just all in all a really, really sick shirt, great wear, great condition, and it's a grail for any AbFab fan. So next up, we have another shirt from 1995. This time it's a South Dakota Rally Tee, and I absolutely love this thing. The wear on it is absolutely amazing. You guys can probably see, I'm hoping the camera picks this up, but it's literally perfect. The fade on this thing is really nice. The graphic on the front's really sick. And then if we flip it over to the back, we've got this incredible hit. I just absolutely love this thing. There's something about old racing tees and old biker tees that if they're worn perfectly, the graphics just pop even more. And this thing is no different. Single stitch, super soft. The tag has faded, which is unfortunate, but it does fit like an extra large or large, anywhere in between that. So if you're either size, you get away with it. But it's got some really, really nice, very subtle wear on the neck. And it's all in all a really, really sick shirt. No flaws, but just literally worn to perfection. All right, so next up, one of the last shirts we're gonna be taking a look at today is this 1994 Metallica Master of Puppets shirt. Now, the reason why I wanted to include this in the video is everyone's seen the Master of Puppet tee. It's probably one of the most iconic Metallica shirts, but just because this one has been worn literally to perfection. You guys can tell by a fade, really, really nice fade. You can't feel, unfortunately, but if you could, this thing is literally like butter. It's, it's worn to perfection, really soft, really beautiful fade. It's printed on the giant tag size, extra large, fits exactly as such. Really nice front graphic, really nice back as well, and just all in all a really, really sick, really, ooh, really unique Metallica piece. All right, so the second last shirt we're gonna be taking a look at today is this Australian Bon Jovi tour shirt from 1993. Now, I've actually had this shirt a few times on the store and every time I see it, I love it more and more. Really nice, simple front graphic, but if we flip it over to the back, we've got a really, really unique, really nice back print with these colors. Now, like I always say, a black and white with a tiny bit of color looks amazing, and this is no different. The blue and pink work absolutely amazing here. And to top it off, it's also printed on the Australian made Acme tag. So you know the quality is gonna be good. It's a size extra large. It kind of fits in between an extra large or a large. So if you're other size, you can definitely wear this, but great quality, great fit, great feel, single stitch, very subtle fade to it. So you can't really go wrong. All right, so the last shirt we're gonna be taking a look at today is this Jerry Springer 1990s TV shirt. Now, I haven't actually seen many of this exact shirt or many Jerry Springer shirts in general, but just a really, really sick tee. Now, if you guys have ever watched the show, you know it's just absolutely wild. And I think this shirt does well to kind of embody it. You know, got Jerry on the front here looking pissed off with a big Jerry kick-ass text. It's printed on the old Teltex tag, size extra large. It kind of fits once again between that large and extra large, but just a really nice shirt, great condition, very nice, soft kind of feel and fit. It does have a few marks on it that you can only see when you inspect it really closely. You can't see when you're wearing him, but just all in all a really, really sick shirt and one that
that you don't really see very often. All right, guys, thank you all so much for watching. We just went over some of these incredible shirts dropping this weekend, Sunday the 12th of January. Now, as always, the drop-in itself is gonna be a total of 21 shirts. So make sure you follow us over on our IG, which is at Faded.au, and also over on our TikTok. Yes, we have TikTok now, we're in trend. So follow us on both those platforms because we'll post stories, videos, and photos of some of the remaining tees you guys haven't yet necessarily seen. Now, as always, comment below what shirts you guys are gonna try Cop come Sunday. I wish you guys all the best. Thank you for tuning in. Happy New Year, and I'll see you guys next time.